OK, now the sound banks have been activated and we go on to the browser. Browser window. The view mode between the loop eye and the browser can be changed via these icons here. With a click on the name of the sound bank, you open the subfolder of the bank. Folders are recognized with this sign. The last column contains the samples. Preview samples. The most simple way to quickly listen to samples is to click the play button next to the sample name. It will play. If the sync button down here is active, the sample is automatically synced to host or master. You'll hear the original tempo of the sample if the sync button is off. Besides, the original tempo is shown in the sample name. You can see it right here in the sample. You can also move through the browser using the cursor buttons on your computer keyboard. And it's by far the easiest way to do it. If I start a sample here via play and just go down with the cursor buttons, the next sample will be played right away. If I like a sound, I click the load sample button. It is this one. It will map the sample to the lower keyboard. An entire folder is loaded like this. Simply drag and drop the folder to the selected region of the keyboard. It will indicate which keys the samples are mapped to. Of course, single samples can be dragged and dropped to the keyboard the same way. The browser offers quick and easy access to sounds. Thanks to our consistent tagging system, it is easy to spot the appropriate sounds you are looking for. It is one of today's biggest problems. Hard disks are packed with sounds, but how do you find the right one quickly? To be honest, we didn't have a 100% overview of our loops and samples until we had created the browser in Elastic 2. This is now the best way to find sounds. As shown above, you can click the filter function and specify your search. It is also possible to combine several filters, the succession of which influences the results that will come up. Those who want to check this out further should click on each filter to see how it works. The window can be set to any desired size. Watch out! In the plugin, this thing is a little hidden. It's this function here.